my channel. Today, I'm proud to say, I'm finally putting a 3D printed supercharger on an actual engine. You can see here, I got this basically scrapyard quality 13 horsepower Honda that's a little bit rough, so I'm gonna clean it up here and then we're gonna get mounting the supercharger. Alright, superchargers mounted on top of the engine. Now all I gotta do is get a remote fuel tank as the fuel tank normally mounts where I put the supercharger. I'm using a remote tank setup I made for a snow machine years and years ago. It's not really the best for this application, but it's gonna have to do. Once the fuel tank's all hooked up and I got it all primed up, we're ready to go. This engine was given to me by a friend. It was in a scrap pile of stuff. He figured I'd want it. And since then, it's been sitting on my shelf for about eight years. So, that being said, it needs a little bit of extra fuel on it just to kind of get it started. Hello. Be scary if it fires up. Well, it didn't immediately explode, so that's a good thing. Seems like I'm having a little bit of an issue getting fuel, and I notice up here, this is part of the culprit. The hose is a little bit too flimsy. With the fuel line kind of sorted out, I make another attempt here on the floor. The engine seems to smooth out and run a little bit better, but it's still seen better days, I think. I'll eventually have to get to cleaning the carb. I got tired of being on the floor and holding this thing around when it's revving up and down a little bit is kind of scary. So I put it up on the bench and clamped her down. Now I'm going to look here at the flow meter with everything clamped on so nothing moves so that the flow meter stays level and I'm going to take a reading on this. Currently the belt gearing is about 1 to 1 so with the engine spinning at about 3600 RPM we should be seeing if my calculations are right, between 10 and 15,000 RPM, which for this size uh, unit isn't really a lot. I had to mess around with the fuel tank again, had to get it higher, I was, wasn't getting enough fuel flow into the engine. With that sorted out, I'll start it up again and see what happens.
Initial success, engine seemed to smooth out, and I got a good reading. However, it's a little lower than I'd like, so I'm going to play with the gearing and see what we get from there. Now, up to a certain point, I plan on playing with the gearing with this adjustable pulley. That's why I put it on here. This allows me to just thread this thing in and out and change the diameter of the pulley. Suddenly, nothing, no airflow, nothing, no, nothing reading, I can't feel any pressure, something went wrong. Confirming this, you can see here the shaft on the input spins, but the impellers are not spinning. Something, somewhere, failed. With the front cover off, I can investigate and see what's up and apparently my final drive is slipping on the shaft as you can see here it either didn't tighten this up or it untightened itself either way it come off and started moving around and then i i imagine with the bump in rpm it just completely started to slip and shredded any fit that was left while putting this together i really wasn't happy with the amount of taper interference that i ended up with so I'm going to reprint the parts with a little bit of modification and hopefully I can get them to tighten up a little bit better on the shaft. Otherwise I'm going to have to find a different way to mount this to the shaft. But this should do the job. At any rate, this is about all I got for now. I'm going to go back in Fusion and play with the taper a little bit on my taper log gear. Then I'm going to come back and do a higher RPM test on the flow meter and if I get around where I want to be, I'm going to do a pressure test. And then if I get a decent amount of pressure at that flow rate, which at this point I should be able to attain pretty reliably. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Click like and subscribe if you did. And I'll be back with an update on this project soon as well as some other projects. Take it easy and see you guys again.